The president uh, has said that there's a national emergency at the border and we got to do something about it. The House is soon set up to take up a resolution aimed at overturning that national emergency declaration, said it would be a mistake. It's being led by Democrats, some Republicans. The same battle will uh, follow up in uh, the Senate, where at least three Republicans, Susan Collins and Tom Tillis, Lisa Murkowski, are signaling they would back something like that. Let's get the read from Democratic Alabama Senator Doug Jones, who joins us right now. Senator, good to see you. Good to see you, Neil. Thank you. What do you think of this emergency measure? How would you vote? I'm going to probably vote against the emergency measure. I don't think there is a national emergency. I think those need to be declared for true emergencies that put Americans at risk top to bottom. Uh, I think we're going down a slippery slope. Uh, when we start looking at uh, the southern border, where there is a crisis. I don't think there's any questions, and I want to secure the borders. I want to make sure that we uh, uh, deal with that crisis, but I think constitutionally uh, that's our job in Congress, and we ought to be adults and do that and sit down at the table and talk about it and not do it through a national emergency that may take a lot of money away from construction projects in the state of Alabama. Just don't think it's wise. All right. Now, uh, many of your colleagues agree it could be a close vote. It might actually be approved in the Senate. I don't know if it got that far, but that the president has said he would veto it and that there aren't enough votes to override him. Do you agree with that? I think that it would be tough to override a veto, but I think it still sends a strong message if both the House and the Senate would have passed that. Uh, and uh, I still think it sends a powerful message. And sometimes you have to put those measures up and send them for a vote, uh, whether they uh, can override a veto or not. It still sends an important message, I think, to the American people and to the administration. Senator, while I have you here, you have spoken on this situation regarding uh, Hoda Mathuna, this so-called mm -hmm. ISIS bride who is trying to get back into this country. The administration says, first, she's not a citizen. She's not welcome back. Her father, a diplomat at the time, they're arguing back and forth over the legalities of that. But given her uh, incendiary phrases and comments about the United States and Americans dying and having been married to at least two ISIS fighters, she's not wanted here. Uh, you think that's a bad idea. You think she should come here? meet out her punishment in the American courts. Is that right? Yeah. Well, first of all, Neil, I, I can't speak to her citizenship. And obviously, that's an issue that the courts are going to decide. But the fact is, all of those things that you just rattled off, I think, is the, all the more reason that she should come back and face the American system of justice. I mean, every day in this country, there are people that commit crimes against this, uh, the people of the United States. Uh, and if she does not come back to this country, she's going to be free to walk around in the Middle East or somewhere else, potentially get involved involved again with other uh, ISIS fighters, commit more crimes against this country. I have this abiding faith. You know, I'm a prosecutor, old prosecutor, uh, Neil. I have put domestic terrorists in prison before. Uh, unlike m most of my colleagues in the House and the Senate, I have actually been there. And I have this faith in the system. And I think it sends a really bad message uh, to people in this country right now that are looking to be radicalized. And let's face it, even as we speak, you understand that there are people out there that are being radicalized on the Internet and elsewhere. Then wouldn't uh, you want all the more, sir, for them to be doing whatever they're going to do over there and not over here? In a prison, they're not going to be able to do very much. I believe in but this. What if system. she doesn't go to prison? Oh, she'll go to prison, uh, Neil. I've, have, I've got apparently I've got a lot more faith uh, in our system of justice and the Attorney General of the United States and his Department of Justice uh, than a lot of he, these people. Uh, but they, hasn't 9/11 and all the violent incidents since and all the ISIS stuff since, Senator, given us some pause that it's not the same old thing? It's not the same old. Our court system is great. We can go through this. I have no doubt that it is. But I, that this is a clear, threatening series of comments and tweets and languages that call death for Americans. The great yes. Western world is fake. Uh, and why welcome that sentiment you back You don't here? welcome that. You do not welcome that sentiment back. I don't think anybody that brings her back and puts her in front of a court of law and a, peer, uh, a jury of their peers is saying that you're welcome back. I don't think that we're going to be but going to But if you rolled the dice place. and she were able to get off some way... Uh, well, we're not we're, we're not rolling the dice when she is over in another country. We've got people living in another country. She can get back into this country at some point, somehow, some way. She no, but can I'm rolling, into another rolling country. the dice in our legal system here, and somehow, you know how our court system works, and you were a great prosecutor before you got to the Senate. People slip through. 
it's very rare when people slip through, and they don't slip through when there is overwhelming evidence. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's overwhelming evidence of this woman's crimes against this. We have to have a faith in this system, as opposed to just letting her run free in another country. And there is no telling. That's not rolling the dice. That's giving her a free, free hand and saying, play it, do whatever you want to. I'd much rather take the chances in our court system with Bill Barr as the Attorney General and this Department of Justice and how it will play out over here. Not welcoming her by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't think we ought to start getting soft on these terrorists or soft on crime like this right. and letting them run free in another country. Senator Doug Jones, knew it. I threw a lot at you today, a lot of breaking news, but thank you very much, sir. Very good seeing you. My pleasure, Neil. Thank you.